Not all functions have inverses. Which functions have inverses? We think about functions written out like this. If there are two x values that go to a single y value, and I turn these arrows around, what would happen to this number here when I sent it back? It would break the one function rule, which is each input has exactly one output. So if you have two different inputs that go to a single output, if you try to invert the function, you would not have a function. So f has an inverse when f is 1 to 1. We're going to be lazy and write 1 dash 1, which looks a lot like capital H. And if you know what the graph looks like, you have an inverse when the graph passes the horizontal line test. This function, uh, this is the graph of an equation that is not a function. This would fail the uh, vertical line test. Uh, so you want to be careful. If your function is going to be invertible, you'll pass both the horizontal and the vertical line test. Now, if you don't have a graph, how do you know you're one-to-one? -one? We can do the one-to-one -one test. A function is one-to-one -one exactly when f of a equals f of b implies a equals b. And this should be for all a and b in the domain. Now, can you check every single number in the domain? No, even a small domain from 0 to 1 has an infinite number of numbers inside of it. So you cannot check for every single uh, element of the domain. So what we're going to do instead is use algebra. So f of x is x squared is f 1 to 1. So I'm going to start out. Suppose, suppose f a equals f of b. What does f do to a? squares it. What does it do to b? Squares it. So if a squared equals b squared. Now I can take the square root of both sides. It is true that one solution is a equals b. a really equals plus or minus b. So a equals b or a equals negative b. Now the problem comes in because a does not necessarily have to equal b the problem comes into uh, in right here. So this is bad. This is not one to one. Because A was supposed to only equal B, but A could also equal negative B.